This is about a process I first learned about in the early 90s, reading Susan Kingsley's book, Hydraulic uh, Die Forming for Jewelers and Metalsmiths. In there, it's referred to as a matrix and blanking die set. The matrix being this basic open cavity with a block that you place a piece of sheet metal onto and then urethane pad, squeeze it in the press and create a puffed area in the middle of this piece of sheet like this. And the blanking part of it is a pancake die with its own protective lock attached to it that you place the puffed metal into. Line it up from the back to make sure everything's where it's supposed to be. Hold that down. Trim away that flat part and you're left with piece that's all puffed. And uh, it works on uh, almost any shape you would normally make a pancake die out of. Fleur de Lis is a popular one. And I've got this started. Uh, I'm going to do another uh, educational bit eventually about the step-by-step -step procedure of building one of these. Uh, we start out with the uh, pancake dies made first, heat treated and everything, and from there I use that as a master pattern to make the protective block and also to trace the, uh, to make the uh, forming, uh, the matrix part. So I've noticed a, a lot of three-dimensional, whoops, I'm sure that's still set up right. Yeah, a lot of little three-dimensional forming dies. Just a single female mold that you would use urethane, lead, whatever to press the metal into the dimensional form. But you're still left with something like this and the need to trim away that flat part by either hand sawing or much easier is with this method, pancake die. So, and the nice thing about these dies that I make is that they're nice and tight so that they'll cut thin metal. Uh, a lot of those real detailed impression dies require you to use thin metal to get all the detail formed well. And so, this kind of die that I make is going to work great for that. They, they cut thin metal very cleanly and so that's a real real fast way to uh, get your you know your those dies are relatively inexpensive these dies are relatively inexpensive so save you a lot of time over sawing each one of those pieces out by hand after you form them and this also works as long as we start out with a symmetrical pattern I can saw these pancake dies accurately enough so that you would be able to take one, well, two of these, flip them over and um, solder them together like a, as in a bead. And it works as just about as big as I can make a pancake die for. This is one of the bigger ones I've ever had to do. And different, different shapes. The floor again, that's a popular one. So the uh, this is the sort of the introduction to this kind of work. The more elaborate pieces can be done. One one example I have here is a three-step one I used to make for a, a lady who did a lot of copper garden art. It started out with a, an annealed piece of 26 gauge copper that we would draw down into a cavity like the like I showed it first, and we would have to anneal that again. And I made a solid male and female conforming die set 
uh, first I had this uh, male shape cast in bronze and then I used that as the model to make a uh, plastic steel female mold so that the the male punch the bronze piece would would take this and form this out of it with the solid male and female set that still leaves you this flat flange like we just saw and the third step was to take that and put it in a pancake die just a, a, a bigger version of this thicker block it was like an inch thick to trim away that flat border now that one ran into problems because the walls were so so steep and that's another reason I make these pancake dies so tight is to deal with that that thin thin metal at, a, at an angle you see these uh, these dies are made for putting flat pieces of sheet in there and they work great that way they can run into some problems when you're trying to cut metal vertically in them especially when the metal is soft but that's why I make them tight so they can deal with that And that's your basic run through of that process. There will be more later when I have time for it. Thanks for watching.